Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am really good. I am back today with a Timu haul for you and found some excellent things to show you guys. I was really happy with all of the things that I chose this time. Timu graciously reached out to me and asked if they could gift me some items and I said sure. So I'm going to show you what I picked and they also have a discount code that you can use and it is DKS3997 for a $100 coupon bundle. And I will have everything le linked in the description box below. And if you search that discount code in the little search bar area on the Timu app or website, whatever, it'll pop up that code for you. And I do believe there is a time limit on it. Like once you do click on it, I'm thinking maybe you only have like 24 hours or something. I'm, I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, that is the discount code and everything will be leaked below. And for those of you who have never used Timu before, they have everything, everything that you can possibly imagine. And I'm going to show you some of it today, which I think is some pretty interesting stuff. So, all right, I'm going to jump into some of these bigger things on my desk because they need to get off my desk. The first thing is what I showed in my thumbnail. I wanted a new steamer. So I picked one. This is the box that it came in. I did take it out so I could plug it in and give it a try right now for you guys. It's just a handheld like garment steamer. So I'm going to put this box on the floor out of the way. And I did put water in it already. And I don't know how much water it holds, but this, this pot down here, and there is like a fill line on it. This comes off, and that's how you fill it. Oh, I just got water on my desk. But you just put that on, fill it, easy peasy. And the on off button is right here. It doesn't have like a trigger function where you could like pulse steam. I don't know what you call that, but you turn it on and we're gonna, we're gonna try it. It probably is gonna take a little bit to heat up, but I do have it plugged in. The on off is there. I can hear it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit this down for a minute and then we will come back to it so I can show you what it's doing. I'm sure it'll take a minute or two to heat up. So let me see here. We're gonna do the next thing because it's another big box that it came in this big, huge box. And it is a candle warming lamp. I did bring one of my candles in. Can you hear the steamer? It's doing something. I'm not feeling any steam yet. It's, it's a loud one. I'll set that here. But I picked up one of these candle warming lamps. I don't know if you guys have seen these. They're all the rage right now. I do have it plugged in and I, I got it out of the box last night and I did take a little video to show you how it melted the candle and everything. I'll put the video blip in sometime here right now but it's just a light pretty black and then you set your candle on here any any type of candle that you would want you know what guys this steamer's doing something so let's go ahead and finish that off can you see this steaming let me see if i can put something behind it i have a pair of pants here let's see if can you see it steaming wow it's like it is actually boiling in there. So I would be very, very careful with this. It definitely works. Let's go ahead and try it on these pants. It works, guys. Sorry, I'm going to shut this off. It's just too loud for me to have it in the background bubbling away. Nice. That makes me very happy. So that definitely works. And like I said, everything will be linked below. But the next thing is this candle lamp. But you just set any any size candle that you would want. And you turn the lamp on. And I'm going to show it in the video as well. It has the little knob right here. That's the on-off switch. And when you turn it, you can do it to whatever brightness you would want it. 
So it would make a nice little lamp for in the evening, like sort of a nightlight type lamp, but this works, guys. I am super happy with this. It also came with a light bulb already in it and then a spare light bulb. But you turn this little knob and it you're gonna see the lamp turn on. It's It twists, so you can adjust this to any brightness that you would want. And I had it lit for less than a half an hour and it had already had the wax melted at least halfway down. So it just makes a nice little lamp to set somewhere. I love this. And then this twist is the actual on and off as well. Yeah, this made me very, very happy. And this is the candle warming lamp. As you can see, the wax here is melted. I've had this turned on maybe a half an hour, maybe not even that long, and it has melted the candle in this, this jar. And I can smell it very, very strong. And this is the, um, the, the little knob that you can turn the brightness up and down. Right now it is at full brightness. And you just kind of spin this and it dims almost down to nothing. Let's see if it, it does turn off completely with that knob. And then you can turn it back up. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I turned it too fast. So yes, this definitely works, I like it. And let me go ahead and I'm gonna set this off to the side here and I'm gonna, tell you about the steamer and the um and the lamp let me find the this is called a fragrance candle warmer and it was in black it was when I chose it it was $13.85 so I'm going to mark that off and then this is just called a one piece steamer in blue. And I believe they may have had it in other colors as well. I just picked blue and it was $13.99. But me and getting clothes and things, I always need a steamer and I do have one, but it is so, so small that it takes me forever to steam a, an item. So I thought this would work better and it seems like it's going to. So that makes me extremely happy. So, all right, I'm gonna show you what I am actually wearing. I have on this sweater. This is called the Scallop Trim Knit Sweater. I got it in the extra large, which they consider a 12 in the color gray. It did come in other colors. This was $8.27 when I chose it. I definitely, for this being a 12, I'm a 14. I definitely could have sized down on this, but I'm happy with it as is. It has not been laundered, so I don't know if it's gonna shrink but it is beautiful. It has this, it's not a true white. It's like a creamy white detail. And it's a ribbed cuff with the scallop, scallop here. It is a drop shoulder. I wish sweater companies would start making true shoulder seams instead of the drop, but it is what it is. V-neck, and I'm gonna I'll go ahead and stand up and show you. It just, it's just a plain gray sweater with also the, um scallop edge at the bottom. Kind of a boxy fit, but that's fine by me. I I love it. It is comfy. It is soft. I mean, so, so soft, guys. I love sweaters, and for $8 and change, this is nice. I may actually pick this up in another color as well. So that was the scallop trim knit sweater in an extra large, the 12. It's definitely a little bit oversized. So keep that in mind. Always read the review, guys, the measurements, all of that. And this is in the shade gray. Now, the next thing is kind of a fail, but not a fail. Let me find it on my list here. Where are they? It's a pair of pants, guys. They are the solid pleated straight leg pants in gray. I got them, looking at the measurements, I got them in the large, which is an 810. Big, big mistake, big, big mistake. They were $13.49. These are, they are an 810. These are true to size. 
I was hoping from the reviews and all of that that they would have fit me. They do not. And there's no way these are going to fit me anytime soon. Like the waist looks like a decent size, but I'm telling you there was probably a four inch gap that I could not, even if I had put on shapewear. There was no possible way. Length was perfect, but these pants, if you are looking for a nice pair of dress pants, these are it, guys. These are gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. The fabric of these is incredible. They have pockets. There's a little front pleat, just one, I believe, on each side. There are belt loops. There's belt loops in the back. The length was perfect. These are beautiful. They are a nice weight fabric. They are not see-through. There's no elastic in the waist. It's a solid, a solid waistband. Zip front. It has, it doesn't have a button. It has one of those um, like hook and eye type closures. So I'm going to pass these on to Allison and see if she could fit into these. You know, she's always dressing up for school now that she's back to teaching. I think these will be perfect for her. They are gorgeous. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and order these in my true size. I was hoping that they would work and they, they just don't. And there's no, no real stretch to these at all. There's no stretch. They are a true dress pant. They are just absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. So, all right, that that was my one fail, but not fail. It's, you know, it doesn't work for me, but I have a feeling Allison is going to get a lot of wear out of these. They're they're just, they're beautiful. And they do come in the, like plastic bags as well, and I did take these things out of the bags just to make things a little bit quicker. And then I actually had the pants on another item that I picked. And these are a repurchase because I I picked them a long time ago. Love them. So I got another pack. And these are the 10-piece stainless steel pants hangers. For 10 of these, it was only $6.83. They're all still in the pack. They come like that, kind of clipped together. And they are just, they're thin, which doesn't take up a lot of room in your closet. They're sturdy. They do not look like they would be sturdy, but I can put, clip two pairs of pants on these easily. They don't bend. They're nice. I like these a whole lot. And the clips are nice. They're strong. And they have a little like silicone, I guess, like rubbers on the, the tips of the clips. So they grip nicely on your pants. Absolutely love these. So, all right, where did my pen go so I can scratch those off my list? Let's go ahead and I'm going to show these next. These are some little, littler hangers. I've never seen something like this. This is a 10-piece stainless steel hook clips. And I got them in gray. The, the little silicones did come in different colors, but I just picked gray. These were $3.77. Let me go ahead and open it. They are also clipped together. It looks like on little, little cardboard things. They're just all clipped on there. And they are individual hooks. So I thought these would come in handy. Maybe hang hats from these, like baseball caps, something. But I just have never seen something like this, and I thought they'd come in handy. So I picked up a, a pack of 10 just to go ahead and try them out. I'm sure I will find uses for those. All right, the next thing is I got myself some sets of the artificial nails from Timu. And let me see, which one is this? This one is almost a square shape and it is called the 24 piece glitter press on nails. These are in medium square and it's a pink cat eye. Do you see that? How pretty those are? When I chose these, they were $1.18. But prices do fluctuate, guys. What I'm, what I'm saying, when I chose it, it may be totally different today. They have flash sales, all types of things. I think these are gorgeous. I'm a very much a square 
style girl. I like square nails. I like doing my nails kind of square. So these are beautiful. And then these are definitely kind of not what I expected. So I will be passing these along. These are, let me see, what number is this? Number two. These are the 24 piece long ballerina fake nails. These were 88 cents. These are gorgeous, but they are the very long, almost pointy ballerina style. I may try them and just clip them off because they're they'd be way too long anyway. So for 88 cents, I, I don't know if I'll pass them along or if I'll just play with them and see if I can make them shorter and make them look more square, which I'm sure I can, but they have this gorgeous accent nail in there that almost looks like little pieces of glittery ice. So pretty. And it has kind of that ombre effect, but all different, all different styles in there. So pretty. And then this one is the 24 piece glossy Aurora medium ballerina fake nails. These were a dollar 34. And they're almost the same style, that real long tapered ballerina style. But I just thought they were so pretty. They just, they're kind of see-through with an iridescent shine to them. So I don't know if I'll pass these along or if I will go ahead and play with these as well. Whenever I was unpackaging everything, I marked down, like this says number 10. That's number 10 on my list here. It's how I can just read down through quickly and know what to tell you guys. Very nice. So those were the little nails that I got. Go ahead and scratch that off. So let's go back here up to the top. These are another pair of those sneakers. I had picked up a pair of these a little while back in the tan color. I love them so much. I picked them up in this shade. I'm not going to take them both out of the packaging. I know these fit because I have the tan ones already and I did try I tried this on just to make sure perfection. And these are the, where is it here? The women's solid color sneakers. I got them in my true size, a seven and a half, in the color gray. These were $15.89 when I chose them. I don't know what color they're coming off to you guys. They they almost do look gray on, on my camera right now. But in real life, these are almost, they're blue. They're a very blue-toned gray. They're, they're awesome. I love them. I am loving this retro-style sneaker right now. This is what I grew up with, and I have always loved it. And these are like a faux suede. They are so soft. They come with the stuff inside, so you can keep them in shape. They have little air vents here. I love these excellent grippers on the bottom. And I knew I would love them because I already have the tan ones just like these. So they are amazing. They came packaged like this. So we'll set that out of the way. Next, I told you about the sweater already. I told you about the steamer. I picked up a few pieces of jewelry. Oh, guys, these made me so happy. It's in a package like this. Which one is first here? It is this. It comes in a package like that. Pretty purple velvet pouch. It is a like cubic zirconia. It's called a one piece 18 karat platinum plated round cubic zirconia chain. It came in different lengths. I chose the 16 inch because I wanted it more choker style. This was $15.98. This is Everything's falling over. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it, it's almost like a tennis bracelet style necklace. Has the, um, the clasp on the end is very secure. It has one that you kind of slide it in, but it also has the little flip thing that you flip it over and it attaches on a little, little bump. This is stunning. I cannot wait to wear this. Let's see if I have it the right way. I cannot wait to wear this. This is going to shimmer up a storm out in the sun. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. 
If you're getting married and you're looking for some massive bling bling like that, I highly recommend that. And there is some weight to this, guys. This is, this is beautiful. Love it. So let's see what is next here. Where is the ring? I got this. This is called the 925 Sterling Silver Solitaire Ring in a size 7, which is my ring size, at least on my right hand. And this was $5.39. It comes in pretty packaging. And then it also comes in the little, little baggie, but this is foam inside where you could put it in there if you're going to give it as a gift. There's a slit to put it in. This is just a big honking solitaire ring. I thought this was beautiful and it will go well with that necklace. It's round, four prong. It is beautiful. I love sparkle. I love sparkle anything. So I'm just gonna leave that on. I think it's so, so pretty. And it is sterling silver, so it should last me a very long time. I love that. And that'll go beautifully with that necklace, I think. So the next thing I got is, where is it here? I think it's on the next page, but I kind of got it to go together with that. It is a 925 Sterling Silver Princess Zircon Earring. The model number was E, I'm sorry, take that back. The model number is YED002. These were $2.00. And 87 cents. It's a little pair of, I don't know what, what you call this style of earring. They're like a flip, like a lever, lever style. These are little tiny square drop earrings. They're just so pretty and so dainty. So you will probably see me wearing these in an upcoming video. They're beautiful. I love that. I like really simple earrings like that, especially in the summertime. Just put on a, you know, little, pretty little dress and just put on some, some bling, but very delicate. I like those a whole lot. So I'm going to keep these in the little bag for now. And again, those were $2.97. I think that's great. Next thing on the list. We may as well get this out of the way. Where is it here? I know it's here somewhere. This is just simply called a dehumidifier and it was $28.51. I haven't tried this yet because our house is very, very dry right now. It comes in a box like that, packaged nicely, the plug, and then it's just a simple dehumidifier living in Pennsylvania. In the winters, our houses get very, very dry. In the summer, they get very, very humid. We have a big dehumidifier down in the basement, but I wanted this one to be for on this floor. And then I may pick up a second one to put on like our bedroom floor, just to help a little bit. But you just plug it in, very simple, on off switch. It plugs in back here. And then it has the little tray that once the um once it gets filled up, I think it's taped, guys. Once it gets filled up, you just pull this out, you dump it out, and you just put it back in and keep going. And it just helps get the, the uh, moisture out of the air, which I definitely don't have that problem right now. It is so, so dry in here. So I think that is an incredible find. That was the dehumidifier. What is next on the list here? Oh, this I picked up for our littlest grand lady. She actually has a birthday coming up here very, very soon. She's going to be three. It's crazy. I remember when I had announced way back what her gender was going to be, and now she's going to be three years old. It's just crazy. But I saw this, and I thought this would be really nice for her to take when they travel or you know to a restaurant or something. It's called a busy board. This was in pink. They did come in other colors. This was $6.15, has little handle. It has a button closure on elastic. And what this is, it's all things to teach her 
how to button, how to use buckles, how to use this style buckle. This is a little puzzle that comes off and on. This side has learning time and the days of the week. Numbers, AM, PM, up here has tying your shoe. Just all these different activities for a child to do. I thought this was just genius. This would be great to put in your car to keep your child busy if you're out and about somewhere. Just so many different styles of, of things that they put on here. And they, I know they also had it in blue, but I thought for her I'd get pink. So this is going to go for her for, for her birthday, one of, one of her presents. Velcro, just everything in here. I thought that was very, very nice has the ABCs on that side and then a little water scene on that side. Super nice, $6.15. I think that's great. And it did come in a bag as well. All right, next thing, where is it? It is right here. These are actually, they are called three-piece velvet headbands in the color skin and these were $4.48. I actually bought myself a wig, guys. I haven't worn it yet on air. Maybe someday I'll be brave enough to do it, but it's more on the blonde side. You guys all know I have gone back to my natural hair color and I really am missing my blonde. So I bought a wig and I wanted to try out one of these, there are three. I wanted to try out one of these headbands. I watch a lot of ladies online that wear wigs for whatever reason that they wear writ wigs, you know, maybe for a health reason, or maybe they have alopecia or, you know, chemo treatments, or just because they want to for just fun, you know, with different hairstyles. And I just love watching those videos and all of them are talking about these headbands. They call them head wig grips. And you put these on, and there is a certain way to do it. You want the grip to be a certain way. You put these on as a headband, and then you put your wig on, and it's to help your wig from slipping. Obviously, this is not how you would wear it. But it keeps your wig from slipping. These ones have the net here, so if your wig actually has a part line, you know, you're not going to see this through it. You're going to see just the netting. So I thought I would give these a try, but there's a certain way you wear it. I think I actually have it on backwards. I need to flip it the other way, but yeah, I wanted to give give those a try and see how they work from, from Timu. For that price, I couldn't pass it up. Do any of you wear wigs out there for whatever reason? But those were three-piece velvet headbands in the color Skin. There were other colors as well. I believe there was one that was lighter than that and then darker shades as well for different, different skin tones. All right, that was everything on this page. I wanted to give these little coffee filters a try. They're like the cone-shaped coffee filters. These are hand-brew coffee filters. You get 40 in here, model V01. These were $1.69. I want to try using these in my pod machine. I may have to cut them down a little bit, but they're just the, the cone style, and you go ahead and you know, put, your, put your coffee grinds down in here and then go ahead and brew through it. Or if you have a pour over coffee thing, which I don't, but I'd like to get one. I just want to give those a try for $1.69. Why not for 40? I talked to you already about the, the pants. I picked up one of their perfumes. I've been really liking their perfumes and I like trying them out and my daughters like them as well. This is called the Aromatic Tea Perfume and then it's number 04 and it was the name of this that got me. It's called Milk Cookies. This was $5.48. Super nice packaging. The bottle is beautiful. I don't know if this is a dupe for something. I have no idea. But guys, this smells really nice. I'm going to spray it. Very nice mister. Like when it, you first spray it, it has, it's just sweet. It is 
When they say milk and cookies, that's just what it remind, reminds me of. It's like a sugar cookie in a bottle. I love this. I really do. I'm keeping this for myself. You guys know I love perfumes. So, And this did come in other scents as well, like those same types of like cookie type scents. I'm going to get another one. I like that. And it, it has like a, almost a musky undertone to it. I love that. That is so nice. Oh, and then to go with my, my wig, I got a wig stand. It's just called a wig stand in black. It was 88 cents. I wanted to get one of these just to kind of display it so I could get it out of the box because I'm sure having it shoved in a box probably isn't a very good thing for it. It does give you the directions on the front of how to stand this up. It comes in three pieces, the two things, and then let's go ahead and see here if I could get this together for you guys. You just kind of snap it together. Oh, if you can, like that. And then this must go on the inside somehow. Oh, this, then this snaps down in, down in these grooves here. Easy enough. And then you can go ahead and put your wig on it to display it. I don't think I have it in there quite perfectly, but for 88 cents, why not? Gonna give that a try. Interesting finds this time, guys. And then I wanted one of these. This is called a stainless steel oven thermometer. It was $2.54. About a year ago, we got a new, a new stove and oven for the kitchen. And I have not in all this time been able to figure it out the oven temperature out. You know, you set it at 350, it just seems like it's hotter than what it is reading. So I wanted to get one of these to put it in there the next time I'm baking to give it a try to see how off my oven is. You know, because if I if I put it at 350 and I'm baking a cake, you know, and it says bake it for 25 minutes, by 15 minutes, it's already burning around the edges. So I have to drop the temperature way back for everything I, everything I bake. So I wanna go ahead and use this just to help me gauge how off my oven temperature really is. I used to have these in the past and just over the years they, you know, they got thrown away. And it has a little, little thing here where you can set it either over or you could set this on the bottom of your oven. And it is $2.54. So that is going to go right into my oven when I'm done with this. All right, what is next? I picked up some of these. These are called, it's six pieces, LED taper candles with sensor. And these are dusk to dawn. And th this was $10.79 for six. I did go ahead and take one out and put a battery in it. The instructions are all in here. It comes with all the little suction cups and the clips and the candles. The candles are all down underneath all of this stuff. They're all in there as you can see, I hopefully. But you put two AA batteries in here and then you can suction these in your windows. <laughs> I'm sticking to my hand. You can suction these to your windows and then when it gets dark outside, they will automatically come on. Let's see if I, it's so bright in here. I don't think it's gonna come on. Yes, it did, did you see that? and then it goes out when it's daylight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the front windows. I'm gonna to have to buy another pack though because I only got six. I didn't wanna get two packs in case they didn't work. And now that I see they are gonna work, I'm gonna go ahead and get more. Um, there's actually a little hole here. You're supposed to make sure that that hole is facing out, you know, toward your yard or sidewalk, whatever. And then when it gets dark outside, they'll pop on. It's just so bright in here that that makes me very happy for that price. So I'm really curious to give these a try. And again, these were the six piece LED tapered candles with sensor, $10 and 79 cents. Excellent. And then where is it? Right here. 
Did I show all those things over there? I did. Total randomness. These are called a 20 piece shelf nails. These are five millimeter. You get 20 pieces in here for $1.98. What these are, I don't know if you guys have any bookshelves or your medicine cabinets where the shelves sit. They have these little things that the shelf actually sits on, like there's holes in the sides, and then these go in and your shelf sits on it. I have a medicine cabinet that is very old, and these little, these little things were plastic, and they had broke, so I've used screws to hold it in. So I got some of these to go ahead and go around and replace. I have a couple bookshelves. So that's, that's what these are. I hope you can see them in there interesting stuff. I'm telling you, you can find anything on Timu. And these are 20 piece shelf nails, five millimeter, and they were $1.98. Excellent. So I think that is it for this haul. Let me quickly scan down my list here. Again, everything is going to be in the description box. The discount code is DKS. 3997 for a $100 coupon bundle. And I just think it's amazing. I love Timu. I really do. I have never had an issue with Timu. I buy from them myself. Me and Hubby, we have bought things on our own. Loved everything that we have got so far. Those pants make me sad, but that is totally my fault. I was hoping that there would be some stretch and they would fit, but my fault. I should have got my true size. I shouldn't have gone down. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's my Timu haul. Makes me happy. Now I need to go and clean up this mess because it is everywhere all around me. All right, everyone. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.